Hey everybody, I found a new team to highlight just for fun. Uh, I thought it was kind of interesting. We had an alliance war earlier this week and it was getting against an alliance. No one say who, I don't want to give away their, their details, I guess. I don't know. Maybe they abandoned the strategy, but their entire alliance set up their mercs like this with Merc Riot Guard in the middle, Task Manager and Merc LT behind him, and then Bullseye on the end and Rhino on the other end. So this meant that they removed Rhino from their S6 teams and moved him to Mercs. And the reason why is because the best counter to Mercs is Brotherhood 2.0. And as you know, the opening move for them is a AoE blind, and Rhino is immune to blind. Now, the thing is with Rhino, his passive doesn't necessarily remove blind. It removes one debuff from the team. And so it's not always going to be blind if they have lots and lots of debuffs on them. But early on, they generally don't. Um, so this does make it uh, a little bit challenging. However, uh, I went ahead and attacked it anyway with my Brotherhood here. And you'll see in just a sec. Um, so I'm going into the team selection here. And I chose my... Here, let me back up a sec so I can show you my team. 310 Brotherhood 2.0. And by 2.0, we mean Blob and Toad in place of Sabretooth and Mystique. Because those two have moved on to the Marauders team. So what we have here uh, for my setup, and I'll just explain this a little bit because I think this is important. From left to right, I put Juggernaut on the left. I put Blob next to him. Put Toad in the middle, although I've been thinking about switching him with Magneto. Then Magneto and Pyro on the end. And the reasoning for this is Blob on, on turn one is going to taunt and he's going to take a lot of hits early on, pretty much no matter who you're fighting. Sometimes he dies. Well... If they get a crit, you know, we'll get some speed ups from the Magneto passive for everybody, and Juggernaut will eventually go. Whether or not Blob's still there or not, Juggernaut is still going to taunt. And I want him on the very end because I know he's not going to die anytime soon. Um, he's usually the last one left if I lose a match. <laughs> so um, putting him on the end, if Blob dies, that removes any chains from Juggernaut for two turns because his taunt is two turns, going back through the rest of the team. And so it helps protect Toad and Pyro, uh, who are very, very squishy at this point so that's the idea for my setup and that's that's why i have it this way i've been using it for a long time uh, i haven't really seen much need to change it although i may swap toad and magneto just because toad does die sometimes but i don't know that's necessarily due to splash damage from being next to blob um, but either way um, those that's the only change i might make so opening moves here so what do we do uh first thing we got to do is figure out where are we going to chain so Toad's ult will obviously chain through much of the enemy and remove some buffs, but it's not going to remove three buffs. It's, I think it only removes two. And the main thing is, is we want to get the offense up away from Task Manager. Because he's the one that's going to do a lot of damage. So you want to make sure you hit him. So if he's in the you know fourth or fifth spot or something like that, you want to make sure you hit him. Um, so right here, I'm just reading the tooltip because I'm like, wait a sec. Uh, what does this do again? Because <laughs> sometimes even I have to check and make sure I know what I'm doing. Um, so I totally misread this. I thought it said uh, it can be or I thought it said it can be um, stopped by a counterattack, and that was wrong. Um, so I ended up throwing it on task manager because I saw the counter on Rhino and I was paranoid that I was going to lose because everybody was saying this isn't going to work. This isn't going to work. And I'm just like, man, what am I, what am I missing here? Right? So mags turn one does not blind because of Rhino. Cause it, since there's only going to be one debuff on them due to uh, him being the first one to apply it, uh, the blinds would go away. Rhino gets turn meter out of it. He's going to go, he's going to start hitting people and that would be bad. So that's why we go with the disrupt on Merc Riot Guard to start. And the reason I do that is because I don't want him taunting and then getting stuck on him for a while because this is a pretty good sized Riot Guard. Um, but the idea is just to allow me to freely hit Merc LT or Task Manager and take them out as quickly as possible. So you can see here, that's the uh, AoE blind thing that uh, Task Manager does. He only applied it to Pyro, thankfully, but I think if he tier fours that ability, then he will actually apply it to a second character as well. Um, so at, he also taunts on uh, two characters. I think it's, I forget what the criteria is, but it's something like highest damage or something like that. Uh, and then we saw a bullseye hit, uh, get countered by Blob. And now we're on to, um, 
Let's see. Now we're on to the Merc LT turn. So Merc LT is going to buff everybody with speed up and offense up. However, this one is not maxed. As you can see, uh, the speed up did not go to bullseye. So this team is going to get scarier as they progress. Um, so just FYI there. And then, of course, uh, Riot Guard doesn't get any of that because he is disrupted. And they also don't have a cleanse, uh, really. So that's why I think you know Rhino is actually a pretty good fit to bring into this team. Because it forces the enemy to play differently, right? So from here, we're going to see Pyro is going to uh, miss, but I'm missing over here on the left, right? Because I want to trigger the counter from Rhino, and I know that whenever Merc Ragnar gets attacked, he's going to apply stacks of deflect to his allies next to him. So you want to make sure you don't accidentally hit him with your blind attacks or just any, you know, errant attacks that you don't need to. Um, so that was a blind one and just a waste. So here I'm trying to figure out, okay, who am I really going for, right? Because this is the first time I fought this team before. Uh, with Rhino in it. And I'm just like, well, I can just go right in the middle here and start getting those deflects down a little bit, but that doesn't really help. That was a bad move. What I should have done was I should have hit Merc LT. And the reason why is because Merc LT is going to speed up, offense up, and get and heal this team and keep them moving. And I think he is the highest priority. If you keep trying to smash into uh, Task Manager, he's just going to block everything because of all the deflects. And he has increased block amount. His block amount is 50%. So everything that you're doing for whatever, however many are left in this stack here, uh, which it looks like a lot, <laughs> you're only doing half damage. So I, to me, I think he's not the first kill, like some people say. Um, next thing is just extending those debuffs. And I really wanted to extend that slow on Task Manager because I don't want him to keep attacking my guys over and over again. If he gets more abilities, it's going to hurt. And I didn't want to deal with that. So and instead of opting to slow uh, Bullseye or for another turn, uh, I opted to hit right here in the middle, keep that Disrupt and Slow on Riot Guard, and then continue it on Task Manager. Um, so we're about to get the uh, Juggernaut atta uh, first attack, which is just simply his... Uh, taunt and buffs and everything but now he's got two turn taunt so i'm not too worried about the rest of my team right now it's you know these taunts are about to fall off of uh magneto and then blob he's okay he can take a big hit he's he's a big boy uh so we get another merc riot guard uh special which uh or alt or whatever you want to call it for a minion and they all get defense up which i'm just like god damn it like <laughs> this is too much so uh so i'm thinking like okay i'm gonna go for the squishies Black, uh, bullseye and uh, Merc LT. I get the assist from Toad on on Bullseye, uh, which is pretty good to get res, uh, get some more health uh, down off of them. And then the passive Merc LT kicks in and heals Bullseye. Um, there's just uh, and then there's also the passive heal from uh, Merc LT when adjacent allies get hit, which is why he's next to Merc Riot Guard. So there's just a lot of a lot of things to think about with this team since they're new. Finally, Pyro gets an attack without blinds. So, of course, we strip all these buffs and we just focus fire these guys down because they're squishy. They are very squishy. And so getting Merc LT is my top priority right now. Uh, getting Bullseye would be nice, but it's not absolutely necessary. So we're just going to bulldoze them with the Juggernaut ult here. And I was trying to think, like, hmm, do I want to hit Task Manager? No, I want to get these two down as fast as I can, get those bleeds stacked on them, get the heal blocks, and uh, finish this out. All right, so... Um, Let's see, we're still not ready for a Magneto alt because it's just going to get dis uh, dispelled or partially dispelled. And uh, I think I'm in good position here. So I just do the basic and uh, you can see there it gave another deflect to Task Manager <laughs> and then Toad uh, has to hit Rhino. Uh, I don't really have anything to remove buffs at this point. And you can see all the counters from Task Manager are really annoying and they actually hurt pretty bad. Um, so getting him up is essential for this team. He is he's going to be quite a hoss once once they, once we start seeing 400k plus Merc teams. Um, so here I'm just like, well, okay, I don't know. I guess I'll start clearing some of these stacks. Like, <laughs> of course, the counter is going to kill Pyro. So now we're three on three. Uh, so it's a little bit uh, less of a surefire win than I thought it was going to be. Uh, <laughs> so my percentages are dropping slowly. <laughs> like this is not good. Um, so we do the special to extend those debuffs on those guys and uh, here I get the disrupt and buff strip on task manager and that makes all the difference in the world so that was the second time I got to use that this this fight and then we just squish him because he has no deflex so um, and we kill Rhino and there you go it's three guys versus one and it's just easy cleanup so I think it's kind of interesting because 
people are saying don't use brotherhood don't use brotherhood because there's a rhino and i don't think you should be scared of rhino <laughs> if you're using brotherhood um you know assuming the power is relatively even or lower than yours um, so this was a 30k punch down which isn't so bad um if we go back to the beginning here i can show uh the power levels real quick um yeah 310 on my side with brotherhood 2.0 versus a 280 merc, a merc uh, team and i mean i thought that this team was a little bit difficult but you can see here a lot of their power is in this merc riot garden he did nothing most of the fight he was just disrupted from the get-go and he really wasn't that big of a deal um the rest of these guys if he brings them up you know they're gonna be they're gonna be formidable um and especially with you know engineering boosts and all that so uh it does make them more difficult but it's just something to think about um how you play i didn't use the magneto blind the entire fight and i was still able to pull it out but it was a bit close there at the end um could have gone the other way however uh you know just gotta think about who you're fighting how to fight them and how to do your best and i think my biggest takeaway from all this is if you can kill Merc LT early and maybe whoever the other Merc is that's kind of squishy, whether it's Sniper or Soldier or Bullseye or even Killmonger, if you can get him uh, and kill him, <laughs> you know, it's probably better to take out those two first and then focus on the tank plus, you know, Task Manager and them um, and then just do what you can from there. But I do like opening with that disrupt on Merc, Riot, Merc Riot Guard because I think that really helps tip the scales in your favor. So anyway, that's just kind of my breakdown and my thought process for this fight. Uh, it was a little bit of a punch down, but still it came out successful. And, uh, you know, that's really the goal is to keep on winning. So <laughs> hope, uh, hope this helps you guys. And uh, let me know if you run into any other interesting Merc configurations uh this is this is the one that we had talked about in our alliance chat so i was happy to see it and try it out in war um but it wasn't it wasn't too bad but yeah we'll see when it gets up there in higher power